Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another Grove based tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to use the slide trigger key switch. As you can see here, I have the slide trigger key switch assigned to B-2. Let's head to the piano roll. New in Grove base is that there are two different ways to use the slide trigger. Let's say for instance that you want to go from this note down to this note. All you have to do then is program in the slide trigger right after the first note at B minus two and grow bass will automatically slide from one note to the other. Let's listen to it. And to determine the speed of the slide all you have to do is change the velocity of the landing note. So if I have at a low velocity it will use a long time to slide down but at a high velocity Let's bring it up, it will slide faster. Low velocity, slow. High velocity, fast. And then if you do medium, you will do medium. The other way you can do it for maximum control is to program in all the notes you want grow bass to go through before it hits that landing note. All you have to do then is program in a series of notes like I've done here and put the slide trigger under it. Then you have full control over how fast the slide should go and where it should land. So it will always land exactly on the beat. Now I want to show you how to use the slide trigger within a riff. I have a part right here where I want grow bass to slide between these notes. This one, this one and this one. Let's listen to it first without the slide trigger active. As you can hear all of those notes were picked. So let's go down to the B minus two and program in where we want those slides to happen. That will be in between these notes. So let's activate it right here. As you know from the other tutorials, I have alternate fingering as my latched mode. So I need to program in all the way where I want grow base to actually slide. I need to assign the key switch for all the time I want grow base to be sliding. So it will be here, it will be here, and it will be here. That one is a little long. Let's go here. So let's listen to it with and without. It's a pretty huge difference and it's super super easy to actually use this slide trigger. So all you have to do is program in where you want the slides to happen and Growbase will take care of the rest. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for future tutorials on Growbase. Till next time, see ya!